Right, uh, I'll show how to connect and use the Bambi Bucket module for the Rotodyne. So first thing we want to do is we want to load up the uh, Rotodyne Bambi Bucket module. We're going to do selection grid. We're going to make sure the selection grid is large enough to encompass everything. We're going to copy it and we will go ahead and we will load the Rotodyne. Rotodyne's Rotodyne is loaded. As you can see we have a red interaction problem so all we need to do is move it down one, move it back up one, and as you can see we have no more red interaction problem. We'll go ahead and we'll paste it We'll clear the content and we'll spawn it. All right, so Rotor 9 spawned in, so we need to connect our uh, cart to the trailer. So I'm just going to release the parking brake, turn on the power, put it in reverse, and we'll just get close. All right, now I'll jump off. We can grab this uh, tow bar and we can connect it. All right, so we're connected now, so let's jump in the cart and we'll pull it outside. So um, the brakes by default are on on the Bambi bucket if it's not connected so um, you need this, the cart to be able to drag it out. You need a signal to tell the brakes to come off when you uh, detach. So like if you look right now if I go back to my brakes you'll see brakes are false. If I detach the connector and drop it um, you can see that the brakes are true. So that makes it so it's not going to roll around on you. Alright, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to move this so it's out of the way. Alright, so let's jump in the Rotodyne and we'll attach the Bambi bucket and we'll show you how to work that. So like all the modules, the um, winch module and the Bambi bucket are controlled through the function section of the Rotodyne, which are these eight buttons here. Um, the F2 button as you can see, that's the camera that's on the winch. The next hit would be the camera that's on the Bambi bucket, and then it loops. So once we attach the Bambi bucket, we can either look through the camera on the bottom of the Bambi bucket or the one that's on the winch. All right, so I'm put on ground idle, and I'm going to taxi out. So we'll just go and we'll taxi up next to the um, Bambi bucket, and we'll attach it. Then we'll just fly over to our port here um, where the uh, water is and I'll demonstrate how to use the Bambi bucket for uh, firefighting. Alright, so now that we're uh, close to it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the brakes on and we'll jump outside. Alright, so let's go uh, underneath here. Um, right underneath next to the winch, as you can see, we have a uh, cable. Go ahead and connect that, and we'll go up to the Bambi bucket. You can see there is a cable anchor there. We'll go ahead and attach that, and we'll go back into the road back. All right, so now I'm going to uh, put on the gyro. We'll take off the ground idle, and we'll go ahead and take off. Alright, so as you can see, I'm using the camera that's on the bottom of the uh, winch module, and I'll just fly directly over the, uh, the Bambi bucket. Alright, so now we're over it. Uh, let's put in an altitude, we'll just do 100 feet. And we'll keep our heading of 130. Alright, so uh, as you can see, we have some slack there. So let's actually just go up a little bit higher. So let's go, we'll go 200 feet. And as you can see, the Bambi bucket's going to uh, take off the ground. All right, so we'll just start translating to our port here, and we'll dip this in the water. So one of the benefits of the Bambi bucket over the other firefighting module is this holds a considerably larger amount of water. Um, it also fills much faster. So the other one uses a pump. As you can see, this one has two um, electric hatches, so that's going to fill this very quickly. Uh, this also has a very large capacity. All right, so let's uh, go down. We'll go down about, we'll say 80 feet. We'll see if that puts us in the water. All dependent upon how long your cable is. All right, so we're in the water. As you can see, it floats. So all we have to do is, if we want to fill it, we're going to go ahead and select our F5 here. That's going to open the uh, two electric hatches um, on the bottom of the Bambi bucket. And as you can see, it very quickly fills. So now, as you can see, it's filled 100%. So we'll go ahead and we'll close those two doors. We can raise it up with the winch. So uh, F6 is raise winch, F8 is lower winch. All right, so we'll just uh, let it come out of the water here. 
All right, so I'm actually, that's about as high as I'm gonna raise it. I'm gonna go back up to uh, 250 feet. And we'll pretend these uh, trees are on fire over here. So now we have multiple cameras. So this camera, as you can see, is from the winch itself looking down at the Bambi bucket. So we can use that for firefighting. Or we can click our next view, which is actually a camera that is underneath on the Bambi bucket there. So we're using the F2 key here to switch between cameras. So we can uh, translate over. Let's go look at these trees. Actually, let's do the X on the runway. We'll say that the X is the um, is where the fire is. So we'll align it with their, our camera here. We'll actually go to 2 to get a kind of a wider view, and then we can go down to 1. Okay, so there's the X. We can line the Bambi bucket up, so we can use either camera, but once we get uh, settled here, I'm going to use this. So we'll put the X in the middle, and we'll see where the water falls. So remember, F5 would fill it. F7 will drop the water. So as you can see, we have nozzles, and we do a gravity drop. And so we can uh, just move the aircraft to um, you know, hit whatever target we want. I can't exactly remember. I'll put it in the description, the um, capacity of this um, of this Bambi bucket. But as you can see, we can fly around and very quickly, um, you know, extinguish fires with this. Capacity is very large, so this is good for large forest fires. Um, F7 again turns off on and off the um, the uh, water nozzles. Down is winch down. Up is winch up. Two is our different cameras. Uh, we can open F5 in the air, so let's say we finished uh, fighting the fire and we want to just get rid of all of our water. We can open that up, and as you can see, the large doors jump. Uh, this actually doesn't put out fires, but um, we can very quickly empty our water stores with this. As you can see, you can see it going up because it's losing uh, stretch. Alright, so that is the uh, Bambi bucket uh, module. Thanks for watching.